Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a great week so far. Today we are going to be doing an unboxing of a Rogue Lacquer purchase that I recently picked up. She had a, like a clean out sale on her site a couple weeks ago and I took advantage of that. I also got one of her new collections that she released. I'm honestly not sure what's all in here, but we're going to go ahead and dive into this and get started. I'm on a little bit of a time crunch today, so I wanted to try and get this up as quick as possible, but it is a rather large package. We're going to go ahead and dive into it, and then I will turn you guys around and we will swatch these at the end, but I'm not sure exactly what I picked up. She always has such cute wrapping, so I'll show you here in just a second what the packaging looks like. So this is what everything is in throwing my lighting off a little. So she puts everything in these cute little decorative mailers and I always try to salvage them and use them for like background for videos but it doesn't always work that way. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep this one and repurpose it or not but I am um, got a lot more than I thought I did. Oh my. Okay. Did I really buy this much? I didn't think I've ordered this much. Hold on. Holy moly, how many bottles of polish did I get? Wow, okay, anyway, um, what do we even have? If you guys are new to Rogue Lacquer, um, I will put info down below. I'm trying to go through and see, I don't even know what half of these are. Wait a minute, there's one of these that doesn't even have a label on it. What did I get? Let's look at my slip here. Okay, I did get, um, did I get two collections? Oh no, okay. I got grab bags, that's what I did. Okay, so I picked up, oh goodness, what did we get? <laughs> okay, so I got Land of Fantasy collection, it's an Imagineers collection. I got a backup of I Miss Your Face, that is her Polish Beauty Expo trio for Mariah, the maker of Great Lakes Lacquer. So I got that one. I got a VIP polish. There is a small batch polish. She did like the Seven Dwarfs theme, and I think I only got one of those because she was running low. Um, and then I ended up getting how many <laughs> grab bag polishes? All right. And then there was a doorbuster polish for $6, so I had to get that one. And then we have a Storm Chaser set in here. So... Let me try and put these in order and then we'll come back. Okay, so I think I have everything situated. Some of these don't have labels on them. Um, I'm not sure what's what because... Hold on a minute here. I'm a little confused because there's supposed to be a Storm Chaser set in here. And none of these have labels on it for that, so give me a minute. Um, I might have to do some more research, did I? Hold on here. I will say really quickly, the grab bag polishes that I got, let's see, I got collab over pour grab bags. It was like three polishes for $15, and then I got unmarked grab bags, so that's these. Wait a minute. I did not get near what I should have. No, I didn't. Okay, hold on. Um, from what I can tell here, the Storm Chaser set's not even included in this this bot the uh, this order. All right, uh, I ordered it, but she doesn't have it in here. Huh? Because even the Doorbuster polish isn't even in here. I don't think. I'm gonna have to do some research here. Um, let me see. So we've got three, six, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I am really confused because, yeah, the Storm Chaser set's not even included in here. Um, we're going to go ahead and try to open these real quick here. Um, but my apologies for going off track there. This is wasn't what I was expecting, and it, I didn't. <laughs> but, yeah, we have... Okay, so I already have this one. 
they're unmarked so yeah I do already have this polish this is going to be I think this is a Christmas polish um, so this is a green one with red flakes I'm almost certain I wonder why she didn't label them I do find that interesting so yeah right off the bat I do have this polish I think I'll have to look and see um, I got a feeling some of these 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 three I think I might have unfortunately um, and I think I have this one too okay well my fault for the whole grab bag thing and I she doesn't label them and I guess I didn't realize that that's what I got was unmarked grab bags I should have not done that but anyway um, we're still gonna unbox them I just won't open them I think I have this one too okay so all three of these I currently already have um, in my possession I'm almost certain so these three here we do have I'm gonna try and find them and then I will give you guys the input so hold on a minute okay, so I think the unnamed polishes here I think this blue one is night swim from the summer nights collection they look very very similar um, so we may be putting some of these in a D stash because I definitely don't need all these the green one with the red flakes I think is you slay me from a Christmas collection so this is that one uh, this one will probably go in a D stash too at some point here so there are both of those um, and then this one I couldn't find it's like a rose gold flaky bomb I swear I have something like this this one I'll probably keep. I like polishes like this, especially when you want to try and thin them out to wear as toppers. So I will probably hang on to that, but I am going to set these aside. Um, I've got other polishes that I need to de-stash as well, so I'm going to try to do that at some point here. But now we're going to move on to the rest of these. Um, we have this one I did not actually get and I'm excited about this. This is Moonstone from May PPU. I didn't buy it initially because I didn't really care for it, but I am excited that I actually got it in this. So this is Moonstone. Look at that. That is so pretty, and I didn't order it the first time, so I'm happy. I got three polishes that I tentatively already have. I'm okay with that. I can, you know, pass them along to somebody else, no problem. But I did pretty good this time, so uh, this one is really, really pretty. Look at that glow. I didn't order it the first time because I wasn't really intrigued by it. So next, we I'm going to probably, let me flip you guys around. Land of Fant Fantasy and Imagineering set. So this one is Jingles, Mary Poppins. Look at that. This is like a dove gray, and then you've got color shifting flakes in here. Oh, I'm excited about that one. I'm definitely going to have to message her about that Storm Chaser set because somehow it got missed and I didn't get it. So she's going to have to send that to me because I ordered that one. Oh, this is pretty too. I don't remember what these jingle all the way, or uh, jingle all the way. Look at these. Oh my goodness, these are pretty. So here is this one. This one is called Make It Blue. This is beautiful. Look at that gorgeousness. This is like a cornflower blue. You've got black flakes and color shifting flakes in here as well. Oh, I'm excited about this. This next one is Make It Pink. She does have another polish by this name, and I knew, I told my husband, I thought she had a polish called Make It Pink, and she does. Oh, this is pretty. Okay, so here is Make It Pink. Look at that. This is a beautiful pink, and then you've got blue to purple color shifting flakes and black flakes in this one. Oh, I'm so excited. I have gone through so many of my Rogue Flakies lately with my manicures. I was running low on coming up with layering options, so I have these. I'm excited. This one looks familiar, but I, I know I don't have it. It looks similar to a polish I do have, though, and I'll have to pull it out here. So here is this one from that collection. This is Enchanted Wish, and I know I have something similar to this. Okay, so here is the polish that I have. This is 
Adventureland. I wanted to compare the two. I'm curious. Look how similar they are. Interesting. Huh. I didn't know they were that similar. Yeah, I was not aware of that. I think there's a little more flakies in the Adventureland polish, which is on the left. And I feel like this polish is a hint lighter as well. So I don't think they are, looking at them this way, they're not 100% dupes. They're similar, but they are a little different with color tone. So this one here, the rest of these are mysteries or... Um, small batch polishes so we have this polish this is one I do not have this is from polished gamers box oh look at this so this is rails and sales this is April 2024 polished gamers box look at this this is beautiful it is really really pretty it's like a metallic -y, flaky bomb polish for sure we will be swatching these also I'm just trying to kind of unbox them Oh, this is pretty. This is a prototype polish. Oh my. Whoo, this is gorgeous. Look at this one. So this one is just pro proto batch. I'm not sure if that's like three or how she did that, but look at this. That's beautiful. That is gonna be gorgeous for like the winter. I'm excited. Next up is another proto batch. This is 112. This is pretty, too. Oh, look at this one. So this is a deeper flaky polish. It has color shifting flakes, and I feel like there's some silver glitters in here along with these flakies, but there's also a little bit of, like, blue micro glitters in here as well. I wonder if this is fully opaque. Oh, yeah. So that is what it looks like. It does have a little bit of like a thick thickness to it. I'll play around with it. Sometimes with these polishes you have to thin out a little bit, but I like how that one looks. And we have three more here. And then we'll move on to swatching these. Okay, so this is one of the Seven Dwarfs polishes. This is Happy. This was the only one I was able to actually get. So this is her small batch. She was sold out of the rest of them, I believe, or I didn't really care for the color choices. So this is like a cornflower blue, and then you've got color shifting flakes in here as well. I want to check it because the lid was a little bit loose when I op went to open it, but it looks okay. So that's Happy. If you're curious... Uh, what's on my nails. I'll list it down below. I don't have all the polishes out here where I film, so if you are curious, I will put it in the description box for you. I try to talk about what's on my nails in every video, and I didn't get a chance to do that before I sat down to do this. So this next one is called Squish. This, I'm not sure what this polish is from. Sorry, I'm struggling to open this one. There we go. Okay, this is a Polish Beauty Expo Overpour Polish, so this is called Squish. This is going to be a squishy jelly polish. This, again, is like that cornflower blue base, and you've got color-shifting flakes in here. This is going to be beautiful for the fall and winter as well. So many of these polishes are going to work beautifully for that, but when I get done sharing this with you guys, I am going to be making sure I email her because I got to get that other collection that I accidentally didn't get. All right, so next is VIP polish. This is very important polish. This was from her Polish Beauty Expo offerings. Look at this one. I actually, now that I think of it, I didn't get the Doorbuster polish. It's on my order. I didn't get that one either, so I've got a couple polishes that are actually missing. But here is this one. This is really pretty. Look at that gorgeous, dark shade of polish, and it's kind of a shifty polish as well. This video is all over the place. Sorry, guys. Go ahead and we're going to go ahead and swatch these really quickly. So I'm going to start off with this one. This is very important polish. Try to run through these a little bit quickly. I'm Like I said, I'm on a little bit of a time crunch today. Oh, this is pretty. That is pretty. This would be nice over like an undie or even on its own. 
So that is the VIP polish. You guys will have to let me know down below if you picked anything up from her sale that she was doing. Next up is this one in Squish. This one is going to be a squishy jelly polish. I'm not sure what drew me to this one. Yeah, it is a jelly. This would be one I will probably be layering over a base color. But look at those gorgeous flakies in there. That's pretty. I'm excited about that. That is really, really pretty. Next up we have another blue. This is Happy. She had lots of offerings this time around and I was kind of like, I gotta try and make a decision on what I'm going to purchase and what I could probably skip on. This one's really pretty. A little bit squishy in the base. But her formulas are fantastic with this one. And then we have a couple more blues. We have this one. This is Prototype Batch 112. This one's pretty too. It's going to be a little bit chunky. I imagine this will probably dry a little bit textured. It is definitely textured. You can see it has got all of those gorgeous components in there. Let me zoom you guys in just a little. There we go. It's a really fun one. It has silver glitters in here as well. So that's a polish from her I'm not used to seeing. So that is, I like that idea. I like that she has kind of changed things up a little. So then we have Proto Batch 111. It's kind of like a bluish gray. This is another one that's fun. I definitely see potential for layering manicures with these. You guys know I love to layer flakies and creams together, so these definitely are going to allow me to do that. And I'm going to go in with this. This was my mystery polish. This is Moonstone from May PPU. This is one I skipped out on initially, but I'm not mad that it's in here. I am kind of excited to try this one. Oh, look at that pigment. I know she did really well with this polish. Or so I thought she did. Usually she doesn't have caps on her polishes most of the time. So she had some extra left. But that's one coat of Moonstone. That's really pretty. I wasn't drawn to this polish at first just because of the color. I didn't know how it would look on me and I still don't know how it'll look. But we're going to try it out. So next up is this one. This is a Polish Gamers Box offering. This is Rails and Sails. I'm not going to swatch those other polishes I got that are duplicates. Um, that way they are unopened when I try to let somebody else have them. I don't want to open them and then try to de-stash them. So they're going to stay unopened for the time being. But there is that one. That's a fun one too. I think this would be pretty as a topper even on its own. I like how that looks. That's fun too. Now we're going to move on to the last couple, which are those fantasy, Land of the Fa Land of Fantasy Imagineers set. So we have Enchanted Wish. This is that limey green base with color shifting flakes and black flakes. Not realize I ordered so many polishes. I kind of forgot about it. So I opened my package and was like, wait a minute, did I order this many? And I did. I ordered quite a few, but she had every, it was 10% off. I had a 10% off code. Not everything was super duper on sale. So there's that first coat. This one, this is Make It Blue. I love this one. And like I said, I've been sailing through my flakies from her lately. I've been wearing a lot of Rogue flakies. If you're on Instagram, you know all that. Oh, this is pretty. I have manicure plans with these. That is for sure. These are so fun. Look at the pigmentation on these. My goodness. Those are really pretty. We have this one. This is Make It Pink. I was kind of surprised she named this again. And I, my husband's like, no, she doesn't have a polish 
two polishes with the same name. Well, sure enough, she does, because I knew she did. I just couldn't figure out which polish I was thinking of. And this was the one. So Make It Pink from PPU is obviously a different polish than this. But she does have the same name, which was a little confusing at first when I thought, well, Make It Pink, I have that polish. But they're two different ones. Is this one, which I love. This is Jingles Mary Poppins. This is so pretty. These remind this one reminds me of Destinado and then her it was a charity polish for Ohio that is very similar, but they are a darker gray tone. I will say that right off the bat. So I know this is not a dupe for either one of those. But look at these. You could wear all of these in a manicure, guys, and love it. So that is the what is this, Land of Fantasy? Yes, Land of Fantasy collection. I wanted to come on really quickly and show you guys what each of these looks like, build up to opacity. So we have this first color here is very important polish. That is two coats. Next is Squish in three coats, followed by Happy in two coats. Three coats of... Proto Batch 112, which is this polish. Then we have this one, Proto Batch 111. Next is Moonstone. These two here are three coaters, I believe. There's two coats of Moonstone. Then we have this one in Rails and Sails. That is two coats. And then we're moving on to the four Land of Fantasy collection. So we have two coats of Enchanted Wish, two coats of Make It Blue, two coats of Make It Pink, and then one coat of Jingles Mary Poppins. So this is what everything looks like that I have swatched for this haul. I think these are really fun. I'm loving all of these gorgeous blues. Definitely have some manicure plans for the majority majority of these polishes because they're so beautiful. My lighting is, there we go. The flakies are just stunning with these. There we have it. That is my haul from Rogue Lacquer's recent sale that she had. I picked up some goodies. Let me know down below if you guys got your hands on any of her polishes that she was offering. I am excited for the Land of Fantasy polishes. I mean, these are just so fun. I did get those three polishes that are dupes, but I will be setting up something for a D-stash or something like that, and I will either let you guys know on here they're available or on my Instagram page, which is Bits of Polish. That'll be linked down below. Um, and then I did get the extra dupe or extra backup of that I Miss Your Face polish. That is a duochrome. I had to get that one. So that's it, guys. I think we have touched on everything. Let me know if you picked up anything from her recent sale, what you got your hands on. Hope that you guys enjoyed it. I apologize. It was a little all over the place, but sometimes that's just how things go and you just got to roll with the punches. So hope that you enjoyed it nonetheless. Please be sure to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one.